This is the French horn. It's a member of both the brass and the wind family, so in a way it's kind of separate. The horn plays everything, which is why I like it. You are often used as an accompaniment, or you can be used as a solo instrument. You can be used in a tutti, so you get four, sometimes six, sometimes eight horns in a section. It's made from brass, same as trumpet and trombones. It's got a mouthpiece where you blow in. You get what's called the harmonic series. If I select more vowels, you get different notes. but you can hear that it's the same intervals. So it's the combination of using those different uh, harmonic series. That's how we play more chromatic stuff or more complicated music. This is a horn in F, so without pressing the thumb valve, I would be playing in a nat like a natural horn in F. If I press the B-flat valve, the air will go through the B-flat side, which is shorter, so it gets higher. In Mozart 4, it's quite clever in that the horn will play something, then the orchestra will repeat what the horn has played. It's almost like the orchestra is chasing the horn player, and at the end, the horn gets caught when they all play together. Mozart would have written for natural horn. One of the main guys at that time was a guy called Joseph Leutgeb. Mozart wrote all his horn concertos for him. And one of the things he would have been skilled at was hand stoppings. If I was to simulate what the natural horn would be, using your hand. That's pretty close. <laughs>